I got a call from my friend Jason Ross. Um, he said to me, why don't we start an agency? And my first response was, well, if we do something, it has to be different. I don't want to be a couple of middle-aged creative guys with our layout pad sitting in a coffee shop. We've got to do something different. And I said to him, I want to bring media and creative back together. Fuck it, I want to be Harold Mitchell. <laughs> and working so closely with a media strategist like Kirsty at the start of the process is magic. The possibilities are greater because the thinking happens simultaneously, not sequentially. It's what the groovy people call content. It even worked outrageously well in what the groovy people call social media. Uh, these names really shit me. <laughs> it seems as soon as our industry gives something a name, it fucks everything up. <laughs> and we all start using that name just to look like we're up with it all. It's not content, it's advertising. It's not social media, it's advertising. It's not activation, fulfillment, behavior change, hashtag. It's advertising, 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 advertising. And every time we name something, it becomes the newly trotted out buzzword. And I even heard an over, a, a, a hipster marketing guy and he was talking, he was talking about certain tools he was using. Dude, research isn't a tool. A fucking shovel is a tool. <laughs> I've heard a lot of stories about why media and creative unbundled and why media people are loath to hook back up. It comes down to one simple issue. Ego. If folklore is to believe, in the past, media people were bullied, ignored and disrespected by suits and creatives alike. Well, I worked with media people before, and I saw something different. I watched as clients' eyes glazed over while I was presenting a script. But all of a sudden, clients would come alive when the media person started talking. I fucking hated that. <laughs> and I always had ideas rejected, but seldom did I ever see a media plan nixed by a client. And as I've said publicly before, media people are at the adult table and creatives are at the kiddies' table. And the only thing that will stop us working together as one is the egos of agency leaders. And read the room, folks. In the discussions I've heard so far, no one once has mentioned the interests or the needs of the client. The clients want it, even if they don't know it yet. My view on bringing media and creative together is not based on some make the world a better place, let's talk kumbaya bullshit. My view is purely business. It's mercenary. It is strategically right and smart to have the disciplines working together.